I do want to make something very clear towards the Gentile, towards all the heathen that walk around on this planet. Okay. I see a lot of videos and a lot of things around me happening where I think by myself, what in the world are you doing? Okay. These are things that are crazy, crazy, crazy. You know, you're coming all crazy. You want to talk to mother, you for her call me. Man, what was you doing? I want her. We try to uplift our people. Look what the white man does. He tries to interrupt it. Look what the white man He showed his words. Why is the white man? Jacob, black man. He showed his words to you to read his statues Fake and his judgments. He gave you his false statues and commandments. He gave you the ass bullshit. My daddy's black. Fuck him. He produced some fake ass bullshit. And I want you to understand that. The reason that I deal with you is because scriptures tell me that at some point the heathen or the gentile shall also understand the word of God because the word of God is for the sinner. But I want you to understand that the Most High Yahweh is not dealing with you. It says here in Psalm 147 verse 20, it says here, He had not dealt so with any other nation. As for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Let's read the scripture like a little bit. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is commonly. The Lord Yahweh doth build up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcast of Israel. He healed the broken in heart and bind up their wounds. He told the number of the stars. He called them all by their names. Great is our Lord Yahweh and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord Yahweh lifted up the meek. He cast the wicked down to the ground. Okay? Sing unto the Lord Yahweh with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God who covered the heaven with clouds who prepared rain for the earth, who make grass to grow upon the mountains. And you know what you guys have done? You guys have turned around that thanksgiving on us. He gave to the beast his food and to the young ravens which cry. He delighted not in the strength of the horse. He take not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord Yahweh take pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord Yahweh, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, Yahweh, O Zion. For he hath strengthened the bars of thy gates. He hath blessed thy children with thee. He made peace in thy borders and filled thee with the finest of the wheat. He sendeth, sent forth his commandment upon earth. His word run very swiftly. He gave snow like wool. He scattered the hoarfrost like ashes. He cast forth his eyes like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? He sent out his word and melt them. He caused his wind to blow and the waters flow. And here it comes. He shoot his word unto Jacob, his statues and his judgment unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. So, I'm only drafting you in because the Most High Yahweh told me to teach you. There is otherwise no way that you can be grafted in. Because every single time you guys are proving me why you are the heathen. I want you to understand that. Now I want to go to Isaiah. And I want to read this. So here it is. Isaiah 45. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leafed gates and the gates shall not be shut first thing see how it says 
His anointed. His anointed. Who are His anointed? Is that you? Or is that the actual Israel? So, you know, understand why I grabbed you in. It's not because you're the anointed. It's because the Most High Yahweh said that, that I had to. That I had to teach you the law. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. So what he says is he's strong. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayst know that I, the Lord Jehovah, which called thee by thy name, that's the same as that other scripture, am the God of Israel. So he says that he's the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, that's us, it's Jacob here, see that? My servant's sake. For Jacob, my servant's sake. And Israel, mine elect, I ha have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. So there it is. This is for all these people who like, you know, don't know that they're Israel. You don't know me, says the Most High Yahweh. But I know, know you because I surnamed you. I know you, you know. You don't know because you're destroyed by lack of knowledge. You be in captivity. But I know who you are, the Most High Yahweh says. I am the Lord Yahweh and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord Jehovah, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord Jehovah, do all these things drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together I the Lord Jehovah have created it destruction unto him that strived with his maker let the pot shirt strive with the pot shirt of the earth shall the clay say to him that fashion it what makes thou or thy work he had no hands destruction unto him that said unto his father what begets thou or to the woman what hast thou brought forth Thus said the Lord Jehovah, the set apart one of Israel and his maker, ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands, command ye me. I have made the earth and created men upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens and all their host have I commanded. I have raised him up in righteousness and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city and he shall let go my captives. Not for price nor reward, said the Lord Jehovah of hosts. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and of Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee, in chains they shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely God Yahweh is in thee, and there is none else. There is no God. Verily, thou art a God that hides thyself. O God of Israel, 
the Savior, they shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh with everlasting salvation. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. For thus said the Lord Yahweh that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, he had established it. He created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord Yahweh, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord Yahweh, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Assemble yourself together and come. Draw near ye that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save. Tell ye and bring them near, yet let them take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Who hath told it from that time? Have not I, the Lord Yahweh? And there is no God else besides me, a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Look unto me and be ye safe, all the ends of the earth. For I am God Yahweh, and there is none else. I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness, and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say, in the Lord Yahweh have I righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. In the Lord Yahweh shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Okay, so go back. Ye had not dealt so with any nation. So again, you guys, you guys are on probation, okay? Last video, you guys are on probation. You know, and I want you to, I want you to show you a couple of things here. You know, because you guys are all over the place. What is this? Huh? Let me show you. You want to talk to her? You for her call me. Man, what was you? I call her. Why? Had do you had to drop the N word? Huh? Why did you have to drop the N word? And if not that, let's go to this. We try to uplift our people. Look what the white man does. He tried to interrupt it. Read it again. He showed his words. And really, this is how we're going to deal with you. What you say? You understand what I'm saying? Nah, we're gonna give you the book of raw and uncut. God don't love them. Give me that Romans chapter 9, verse 13. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. You understand? And you're gonna get out and lay down. That's what Christ said. Unless you repent, you all are gonna perish. That's what Christ said. Come on, read. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. That's it. Romans 9 and 13. Let's see what how the Lord feels about the white man. Read. As it is written, as it is written, he wrote it down in the Bible. Read. Jacob, have I loved blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's who God loves. Read. But Esau, have I hated? So you see, you see how this man is all over the place? Give me one reason why I should teach you, okay? Give me one reason. This is why. Alright, we're going to Ezekiel 
33, okay? It says here the following, and I'm gonna read the whole scripture actually to be honest, okay? Again, the word of the Lord Jehovah came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth, seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Okay, so you, so you, you gotta warn these people as a watchman. He hear the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him, but he that take warning shall live his soul. So then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Okay, let's go. Because it's all about, I'm being in trouble if I'm not warning you. Okay, but if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned if the sword come and take any person from among them he is taken away in his iniquity but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand so thou O son of man I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore thou shalt hear the word at thy mouth at my mouth and warn them from me when I say unto the wicked O wicked man Thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if they do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So you see that? So go ahead, do your thing. Be all like all, all over the place. Be like that, that man up there. Huh? Be like that man that said nigger to the other to the other guy. Huh? Be like that man all over the place pretending to be a Negro. Huh? Saying that his father he said that his father was black. I don't see it. You know what I mean? Like like he like trust me, I am the lightest that you can find, okay? You know, like for real. You know, so this is just foolish, foolish, you know. So he's gonna I'm gonna be saved. I don't have to I don't have to care about you. I only have to warn you. You understand that? You know, everything else is, is all up to you. I want you to understand that. So it goes on. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, if our transgressions and our sins be upon us and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Say unto them, as I live, said the Lord God Yahweh, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For die, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? So he's speaking now to the Israelites only. He's not even dealing with the other nations. You see that? So the fact that you're grafted in doesn't say nothing, okay? Because Israel shall be saved in everlasting salvation, okay? And, and, and the Messiah only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. <coughs> so the fact that you're numbered, the only reason why you're numbered with us is because... Yes, you did the, the commandments and the laws, and yes, you turned to the to, to God. But you will be our servants. Okay, that's your only purpose. You be our servants. So don't be all happy and stuff like that because you're gonna be with God that much. Because a lot of affliction is gonna come for you guys. A lot of affliction. In our stead. Therefore, thou son of man, say unto the children of thy people. The righteousness of the righteous shall not 
deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turned from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinned. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live if he trusts to do his own righteousness and commit iniquity, and iniquity is another word for sin, all his righteousness shall not be remembered but for his iniquity that he had committed. He shall die for it. Again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, if he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right. If the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he had robbed, walk in the statutes of life without committing iniqui iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of his sins that he hath committed shall be mentioned unto him. He had done with that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. Yet the children of thy people say, The way of the Lord Jehovah is not equal. But as for them, their way is not equal. When the righteous turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, he shall even die thereby. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Yet ye say, the way of the Lord Jehovah is not equal, O ye house of Israel. I will judge you every one after his ways. And it came to pass in the twelfth year of our captivity, in the tenth month, in the fifth day of the month, that one that had escaped out of Jerusalem came unto me, saying, The city is smitten. Now the hand of the Lord Jehovah was upon me in the evening, of four he that was escaped came, and he had opened my mouth until he came to me in the morning, and my mouth was opened, and I was no more dumb. Then the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, they that inhibit those wastes of, la of the land of Israel speak, saying, Abraham was one, and, the, and he inher inherited the land, but we are many, the land is given us. For inheritance. Therefore say unto them, Thus said the Lord God Yahweh, Ye eat with the blood, and lift up your eyes towards your idols, and shed blood, and, and shall ye possess the land? Ye stand upon your sword, ye work abomination, and ye defile every one his neighbor's wife. And shall ye possess the land? Say thou thus unto them, Thus said the Lord God Yahweh, As I live, surely they that are in the waste shall fall by the sword. And him that is in the open field will I give to the beast to be devoured. And they that be in the forts and in the caves shall die of the pestilence. For I will lay the land most desolate, and the pomp of her strength shall cease, and the mountains of Israel shall be desolate, that none shall pass through. Then shall they know that I am the Lord Jehovah, when I have laid the land most desolate because of all their abominations which they have committed. Also. Thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that come forth from the Lord Jehovah. And they come unto thee as the people come, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words. But they will not do them, for with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goes after covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice, and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this come to pass, lo it will come, then shall they know that the prophet hath been among them. You understand that? 
So you understand these things? So this is why I do the things that I do. Okay? You know, you guys need to step up your game. Severely. Now, this is an in-between video actually, to be honest. So, the next video is gonna be about the Egypt. It's gonna be tomorrow being made. So don't worry about it. But I just want you to know where you stand. Okay? This goes for the unrepented Israel and for the unrepented Gentile. Because the word is for the sinner, not for the righteousness, okay? So you gotta understand that I try to reach you. Don't let me see all these things, man. Stop doing these things that you do, man. You know, if you really wanna be numbered with us, then the things that you do right here and right by the other one,